Hello everyone, I am giving antenatal scan images of a 21 year old primary with no history of consanguinity. There was no remarkable family history. The antenatal scan was done in 24 weeks and also in 30 weeks. Both the times the baby was in cephalic lie and showed normal growth. Everything was alright including the liker volume. The images focusing the fetal thorax are of 24 weeks scan and the images focusing the fetal abdomen have been done at 30 weeks. What do you find? Take your time and think about the diagnosis. If you want more time, you can pause the video and go back to see the images. Are you ready? Let's go. Can we analyze the antenatal images? Yes. Everything here is structurally normal with unremarkable findings in the fetal heart. Even though some color aliasing is seen at aortic isthmus. Stomach and both the kidneys also appeared normal. The fetus is in cephalic lie and that's the most common pattern in most of the times, right? Now I'm going to give the pictures of a normal fetus in cephalic lie with its spine positioned posteriorly. In this normal fetus, you can see that the fetal heart is seen to your left side, to your left side. And now you can see our fetus in our quiz and its fetal heart is on your right side and you can see the iota in the normal fetus and also in the quiz fetus it's also on the other side same way you can see the normal fetus in cephalic life with its spine positioned anteriorly now you can see that the fetal stomach is on your right side in the normal baby and you can see the fetus in our quiz with the fetal stomach on the left side so the diagnosis is very simple and straightforward. It is a case of situs inversus totalis. SIT, S-I-T, situs inversus totalis. It's easy to diagnose if you always go through a routine pathway. It can be easily missed if you start the antenatal scan by calculating the fetal biometry first and then hurry up to finish the rest. So it's always nice to assess the fetal lie and then assess the fetal spine, the stomach and the heart and it takes only few seconds to do that even for beginners. Actually, you might detect more anomalies or structural defects if you scan this way like situs ambiguous which is also called as heterotaxy syndrome and even, even you might pick up a right side or aortic arch and other few other structural anomalies. Now about the fetal situs, there are so many talks on YouTube itself and there are so many articles about this on fetal websites which takes uh, the talk might be going for 15 to 30 minutes and uh, there will the article will be so long but if you have been doing antenatal ultrasound every day it takes just a week to identify this pattern so easily in this quiz it's very easy to catch the situs if the fetal spine is in posterior position or in anterior position actually it's like finger counting initially it's for adding and subtracting one or two digit numbers during kindergarten but once if you can start the journey with the anomaly scan or and growth scan, you can catch it even in the NT scan itself, right? It's easy for cephalic and breech lie with the spine being anterior or posterior or lateral sides. If the fetus is in oblique transverse lie or somewhere in very different positions, it might be sometimes difficult, but time teaches you. In the theoretical aspect of this, it's very rare with its incidence of 1 is to 10,000 and it's rarely associated with structural anomalies. The commonest one being primary ciliary dyskinesia or also called as Cartagener syndrome and there are few other cardiac anomalies in the situs inversus totalis which are atrial situs solitus or discordant atrioventricular connection or discordant ventricular arterial connection and to a lesser extent congenitally corrected transposition of great arteries okay this was given as quiz through google form not one few of them have given it correctly as situs inversus totalis congratulations to all of you some of them also added some cardiac findings the color aliasing at the aortic isthmus in the fetal heart has been mistaken as abnormal finding by few participants Actually, the fetal echo was done twice with no major anomalies. Okay, that's the end of the session. Thanks a lot for your participation. Take care and bye-bye.